Welcome back now with the imminent return of Downton Abbey to our screens and in honour of today's Downton guests, we're putting Holly and Philip to the test to decide once and for all where their rightful position would be within oh. Downton Abbey. Who is the most suited for a life in the pantry and who is most suited for a life in the parlour? Now, acting as adjudicator is William Hanson, who knows everything there is to know about How do you etiquette. do, William? How do you do? Nice, good start. Thanks Very so much. Good. I say, William, do you take favorite. a bribe? <laughs> no, that would not be very good manners to take a bribe, could it? How are you feeling about this? I'm feeling good? I'm, I am over the moon to partake in such a thing. Right, this is Excellent. Awesome. She's going to go far, isn't right, she? Well, I'll tell you what, I think we should get things going. Yes. So, do you want to come over this side, first of all? Uh, Phil and Holly, if you'd like to make your way over there, please. Very good indeed. This is a okay. nice table. It's William. a lovely table, yes. Beautiful. The, the first challenge is table setting. Oh. So behind you've got a plethora of cutlery, some of which you won't need to use. Some of them are red herrings. And I want you to set for the following menu. Soup, fish, beef and then pudding. You're going to have to say that again. Soup, fish, beef, pudding. I'll keep saying it. Soup, fish, beef and yes. pudding. Yes. Right. Your time starts now. Right, they're off. Hang on a second. Just say it one more time. Right, come Holly. on. Soup. Fish, beef, and then pudding. Oh, look, mm, I don't mm. is well, this a, What's the matter? No, I'm going to say nothing is until it, the it, end. Should, uh, what is it? Is, is this, that a napkin or a placemat? It is actually a napkin. Is yes. it? Well, we've already got one. Just go for Don't it. You can't throw a napkin on the floor. Soup, say it again. Soup, fish, um, beef, and then pudding. Okay. Please note we're calling it pudding. Philip's just going for it now because he's just laid it all out. He's not messing Soup, about. Soup, fish. fish Beef and then pudding. And the glasses as well, if we have time. Oh, I don't know. Right, you've got about 15 Cut. seconds left. Oh, this is not. Carson would be appalled at this. OK, we've got 10 seconds left. Right. Oh, that one. We'll talk about don't. that in a minute. I'll chuck some glasses on there if I were you. Two, Six. one. Six. Oh, that makes a noise, doesn't it? It does. It's right, very loud. OK. It's terrible. Oh, hang on a minute. Mm. We have, are we supposed to do... Yes, I can't see. Oh, he's yes, just going well, to put them on. I, well, I mean, it, it, it's a smorgasbord of errors, isn't it? William, um, take it's... over. Right, well, you're, you've really got... quite embarrassed. Forks go on the left-hand side, knives and spoons go on the right-hand side. What oh, what have I done? Well, uh, yeah, well, exactly. Sorry. I mean, and that would go there. You wouldn't actually... You've both put the fish cutlery down. However, this was a red herring, because in Downton Abbey times, they wouldn't have used... Uh, these because these were Victorian ah, middle see. class inventions. Their oh. cutlery was much older. Oh, well, that's that's sneaky. Well, I picked well, up on that. Yes, but well, I was I was expecting you were form. serving red herring for supper. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how it should have looked. Have a little look. There you go. Look I at that. I think Phil's is very close. Well, but equally, he put the glasses on after the gong had gone. You put the glasses on before, so I'm going to give you the point, Holly. Holly's in the lead with one. Did nil. I get the order right though? Um, almost. Mm. Apart from the red herring fish. Yes. Well, well I, I, I think it's close, but I'm going to give it to Holly. Very she got the, the glasses. Right. Okay, you come over the this side. Right. I, I appreciate that. Lucky, I appreciate yeah. that. Now you can play along with this at home as well. Our next bit. Thank you. Um, you need to try and work out what these two items are. Okay, yes. We will give you one clue. Have a little look. Here it is. Play along at home as well. There you go. So we're going to show you the full length of it, and also we're going to show you it in person as well. Oh, can I see it in person? Yeah. Here oh. it is in person. Have a little play. It's larger than I thought. You've only got 30 seconds. And the clue is oh, that it's, it's a medical oh. implement. It says patient. Patient. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely downstairs because you can't read. <laughs> right, let's, let's put the clock on it. 30 seconds. Is, so, it, is it for a sort of old-fashioned... Turn it. What does that feel like? What is, is it doing? It? I'm going to say it's something to do with massage. Like massage. That's a Phil's very polite way of saying what I was going to say. No, hot now, come on, don't lower the tone. Is it please. sort of what a lady might use for hysteria? Like that film? Uh, I don't, I don't know what film you're talking device? about. Yes. Some sort. <gasps> no, it's not. <laughs> what? Really? On an etiquette seen the film? item. No, it didn't have one of those in. Oh. What is it then? Hang on, I'll tell you. <laughs> such a big noise for it's such a small actually, thing. Actually, it's uh, a blood circulator. So if you had an injury, yeah. you put it on your leg, let's say. For that's massaging. What the to massage. So, you were right. so point to Philip. It's now one all. I like oh, this. It's so it's close. Adam Stevens. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Here it is. Have a little look. Play along at home. What do you think it could be? Oh. Let's have a look. 
small. It's much smaller than the last is it, item. Um, can I see? There you go. 30 seconds on the clock. Ooh, that's that's I think it's a tea, is it like a tea strainer? Something you put tea in? Uh, that could be for, for maybe port. That's got to go round so something. something. So it's, is it uh, any sort of alcohol? I love the fact that Downs and Abigail <laughs> are actually really intrigued as well. <laughs> so it's too, there'd be too much. Shall we tell you? For... No, not yet. No, yes, the time's to... still going. Oh, they got. Is I'm it for alcohol? Or straining sort? something. No. It is. It the clue is that yeah. it's for something very hot and very English. Tea. It's for tea. No. Okay, you got five seconds. So what are you going to go for? Colin Farrell. He's hot and English. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should go with what you said because that sounds good. A cup of tea. tea. Yeah, I have no idea. Right. Straining. So you're both going for tea. Well, I, I'm sort of tagging on her. Well, coat here we go. We'll show you oh, there. Oh, the clue was the teapot. And yes, that was the clue. Exactly. It was always there. <laughs> so it is Sand a type of tea strainer. Thing. This would go here, over here. It's very fiddly. And then That's it would, it. as you poured, it would go in to That's the strainer. I've never seen that before. So you didn't have never to put the strainer one. on the cup. Yeah, never seen that very before. Very clever. I, I like that. that. And was that cool. widely used? Uh, it was mm, sort of. I mean, it was invention. This was the time when everyone was inventing of lots course. of different things. So some people used it. Others didn't. They just stuck to more conventional tea so strainers. So the rules are, That's look, Holly. so we're going to go, it's now 2-1 to, uh, to Holly. Yes. So let's go to our next challenge. And for that, you need to head back over this side. Mm -hmm. And this is the trickiest uh, challenge, I would say, of the books. Where are the books? We have two books. Where would you We've like We've got us? the books there. Come here, if you could just stand there. That's right. Come in, ladies. Here we go. Oh, hello, ladies. Come in, Stacey. Now, hello. this is going to be Deportment Downton style. Oh. OK, so I would like you, please, to lace up each this, uh, these two ladies' corsets whilst balancing a book on your head. Oh. Should the book drop, we have, you have to put it back on and start again. Okay. I'm afraid, as a gentleman, I would never be seen with the lady that I didn't know well, like messing around with the corset. Well, <laughs> no, well, I hope not, anyway. <laughs> Look at the concentration of Holly's face and now, Phil. Right, start doing up the corset. Good luck to you both. Now. OK, they're off. Mom, Look at Holly's face, she's concentrating like... Well, yeah, it is, my dear, to breathe You would lace it up just like... Oh. <laughs> lace it up just like a shoelace. Yeah. Did you just say, Phil, breathe in? <laughs> Did he? That's very it. rude. It's not very gentlemanly, is well, it? Should we deduct a point? Having never oh, done such a thing in one. my entire life. <laughs> right. Very good, I right. think. I tell you something, you're both doing very well at this moment oh. in time. Well, one of them is. I'm not breathing. Have you ever done a corset up before? Well, you're not breathing, you're not wearing the corset. No, I know. <laughs> He's concentrating so much that he can't talk. Right. right. Look, Here we go. I tell okay. you something. Breathe in, dear. This is all looking good. I tell you something, guys, you're doing better than I thought. Really? The books haven't fallen to the ground. Is this boring for They're you? They're getting very close. Maybe we've got 15 very, seconds very, very flat heads. That's good. Just 15 seconds. I need my gong. One of the models has a tattoo. That's not very down to No one will know when it's finished if I don't do the gong. It's a lovely no. tattoo. Oh. No. Oh. oh! It didn't hit the floor, though. No, it didn't hit the floor. Right. OK, stop there, please. Well. Let's see how... Wow! Hang on a moment. Turn around, ladies. Just turn around. Look at that. That's magnificent. I, I absolutely concede defeat here. The books are still in place. Yeah, but I caught mine twice. Did it fall off your head? It didn't fall it, off. No, well, you definitely won that. I and Holly has finished now. lacing it up. So, Holly is today's winner. Round well of applause. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. So, where does Holly go? Uh, well, she goes upstairs. She's oh, definitely where upstairs. Where does Phil go? Hey! <laughs> to be honest, I I'll be downstairs. <laughs> there's, the, there's the consolation prize. There we go. <laughs> With etiquette like, like that, I probably wouldn't let him in the house. Yet downstairs. <laughs> uh, thank you. Very thank you. That was lovely. Come back and teach you. us some more manners. OK. Because I like clear to my know. diary. Thank uh, you. Right after all that excitement, I think uh, Holly and I both need a uh, quick sit down on a on a chaise. Oh, that sounds lovely. Don't go anywhere because we'll be chatting more to our Downton guests shortly. Shortly. And uh, we've also got. Music from Charlotte Church oh, as well. Lovely. Right after this very quick break. <laughs> I need to get back to break.